Today I'm going to show you how to make a custom brush out of a bird. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find us all up on Twitter and Facebook at Flurn. Today we're doing something pretty cool. We got a bird photo. This is by John Decker, and we're going to be making a custom brush out of one of these birds and showing you guys all about uh, how to use the custom brush. It's going to be actually really cool, and uh, you can use this brush with any one of your photos, and we'll just include it. So if you guys are on flurn.com, just um, click right down below to download this brush. <laughs> if you guys are watching this on YouTube, we're gonna put a link right down below this video on YouTube where you can go to flurn.com and then download the brush. Okay, so here's our image by John. We've got quite a bit of birds already hanging out in this image and um, really, really cool. What we wanna do is I'm gonna select out this guy and we're gonna turn him into a brush. So here with my marquee tool, we just wanna make a good selection around a bird. Now, it's a decent way to select this guy because he's a, it's a dark bird on a light background and that's perfect whenever you wanna make a custom brush. So now that we have them selected, I'm gonna hit Command J. That just duplicates that to a new layer. So everything that was in the selection, you can see it's on a new layer. Now, I don't need it to be in this image. I actually wanna take this and put it into another image. So I'm gonna right click here on the layer, go to Duplicate Layer, and then we're gonna choose New. So we're gonna put it into a new layer. And there we go, it just kinda of puts it right up there and you know, <laughs> we need to do a little bit more work to it. So now let's go ahead and crop this in. I'm gonna hold down Control or Command and click on this thumbnail here for the layer one, go to Image and then down to Crop. There we go, Command D will deselect. So it's gonna crop it around your selection, which is perfect. Now, I really want, whenever you're creating a brush, you want your background to be white and your brush, whatever's gonna be the brush, to be black. So with this, I just need to edit a little bit to make sure it does show up as black and white. So I'm gonna hit Shift Command U, which is gonna desaturate it. That's a pretty good start. Now I'm gonna hit Command L, which is gonna bring up our levels, and I'm gonna use this white eyedropper here. So we've got a black point eyedropper, midpoint eyedropper, and our white point eyedropper. And I'm gonna just click right over here, there we go, until it looks white. If I click on our bird, that's what it's gonna look like. So um, just make sure you click in the right point. Let's hit Cancel and hit Command L again. So I'll show you guys like with the white point, if you click over here, you're gonna see a little bit of gray left in there. You wanna make sure your background it's pretty much completely white. And you've got your nice preview as well. Well, my face is currently over the navigator window, but yours will not be. So I'm gonna hit okay, and that's our bird. Looking pretty good. Now we need to go ahead and turn this into a brush. So I'm gonna go to edit, and then down here to define brush preset, and we're gonna call this bird. Hit enter and we're good to go. So let's go ahead and go back to our other image. Now on a new layer, I'm gonna hit B for the brush tool, right click, and I'm gonna go all the way down to the very bottom, and we've got our bird brush. So let's go ahead and start painting around with black. And every time I click, it's just gonna make another one of those birds. So you can use this now on pretty much any photo you want. All right, let's go ahead and clear that off, and I'll show you guys some other options that you can use to kind of build in some variation. Okay, with the bird brush, we're gonna go up to window, <coughs> excuse me, down here to brush, and then here's where we can actually bring in some interesting things. Let's click on scattering, and what this is gonna do is it's gonna, as I click and drag, it's gonna just allow quite a few birds. Now, it's they're really close together, so what we're gonna go is to brush tip shape, and I'm gonna bring our spacing up just a little bit. So now they're just gonna be spaced a little bit farther apart. There we go, so scattering is turned on, and our spacing is turned up. That looks pretty good. Now we're gonna click on this shape dynamics, and you can click on this where it says size jitter, and you can, have the control either be pen pressure. I'm using a pressure sensitive tablet. We're using a Wacom Intuos Pro, and um, it's a really great tool for controlling things like if you want something to get larger and then smaller by your pen pressure. So with size jitter turned on to pen pressure. Now if I don't press hard, we're making small birds. The harder I press, birds get larger. The softer I press, birds get smaller again. And we can take our minimum diameter here. So I can make some small birds and kind of make them a little bit bigger. Now the other nice thing is that we can turn on our angle jitter. We can have these birds do acrobatics. Some will be flying up and down. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Let's just turn this on just a little bit. So they'll tilt just a little bit there. So they don't look all like they're the same bird. And then the next thing I wanna turn on is this roundness jitter, which is gonna make some of them look like their wings are kind of flattened out and some of them look like they're not flattened out. Okay, and let's go ahead and turn on scattering. So 
This is an option here, guys, and this is all made from one bird. And you can see as I paint around, it actually looks like it's several different birds now. It, they don't all look the exact same because we have these really cool options. The scattering turned on, we've got our angle jitter, we've got our roundness jitter, and we've got our size jitter. So all these different things are kind of like making it look like we've got different birds here. So this is, let's hope, just clear that and I can click in here and maybe make a couple more birds up there. And we can see all those birds are just basically from this one, um, there we go, pretty cool. They're all made from this one custom brush. Now I'm gonna right click, I want to go ahead and save this with all the variations in there so I can use it on any image. Right click here, we'll go to new and we'll go just call this um, bird scatter one. Let's call this Flurn Bird. I want to call it Flurn Bird. <laughs> All right, there we go. So this is officially the Flurn Bird brush and uh, you can go ahead and paint it in. So this was created from one of the birds. What I would recommend if you are gonna do something like this and you want some more birds to be in any one of your images, just repeat the same process with a couple different ones. You guys can go outside and take pictures of birds flying around in the sky. It might be something fun for you to do and then you can create a couple different brushes so you could get even more variation in them. Go grab one brush, create a couple lines, or birds, <laughs> bird lines, grab another brush and then do the same thing. So this is just a really cool way to add some birds into your photograph. And um, that's the end of the episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching Flurn. You guys can download the bird brush right here on flurn.com. Thanks again, and we will flurn you later. Enjoy your birds. Hi guys, Kat from Flurn here. For more information about this video, please be sure to check out our website at flurn.com. Check out our new pro tutorials, which include beautiful glowing skin and juicy kicks. We also have some awesome free videos like how to do an editorial corporate shoot and how to create lens flare in Photoshop. If you or anyone you know would like a free tutorial, please sign up for our newsletter. It's free. <laughs> this is Kat and I'll flurn you later.